This is in response to Billy's Talking Points memo from Tuesday, April 21st, 2015, uh, The Hillary Dilemma. Now, what Billy is going to be doing here is taking nice, small jabs, snippets at Hillary, and he's going to continue to do it. He's going to bring, keep bringing it up. It's going to crescendo as the election time comes along, if Hillary is the nominee. Uh, and so he actually uh, starts out by not being uh, condescending towards them, but just indicating that they are a controversial couple, meaning Bill and Hillary. And uh, the, the one big problem is that they invite this upon themselves because they never admit mistakes. Uh, now remember, uh, the right has been going after Hillary and Bill since 1992. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I don't know how much more they can find. They're going to continue to try and look and find just about anything that they possibly can. Uh, and it's great fodder uh, for the right, uh, that the right can use, you know, they were an attractive couple. I don't know if you'd still call them an attractive couple now, but when they first came in, and of course uh, there was everything that was done to try and pillarize Bill uh, and Hillary, uh, especially because the Republicans had just had 12 years of rule and they didn't want to give that up at all. Uh, they thought that they were going to continue, you know, this dynasty or whatever you want to call it uh, from then on. Uh, and they were doing anything they possibly could to bring both Bill and Hillary down. And what they had in Hillary was a strong woman, an independent woman, a professional, and that meant they needed to take her down even more. But Billy basically starts out is that the Clintons will never admit mistakes. Uh, well, most politicians don't. <laughs> most politicians don't come remotely close to admitting mistakes. And of course, the first mistake Billy wants her to admit to is Benghazi. And let's remember, Benghazi, even the Republicans, I believe the day before uh, Thanksgiving or the day after Thanksgiving, something like that in 2014, uh, very quietly put out a report basically indicating that there was really nothing that could be done uh, in terms of the Benghazi thing. But Billy still wants her to apologize and to admit that she made a mistake because according to him, fair-minded people will, you know, uh, accept that. Uh, but I would say no. <laughs> Uh, if uh, Hillary admitted any mistake, she would be pillar, pillar, pillarized uh, by the right, uh, clearly indicating that she's not ready for prime time, that she should never be present, she should have never had that job, and that she should be charged with murder, uh, of course, admitting that there was a mistake. And also, I'd like to bring up one other thing. Besides not only, uh, remember, there, there's been three or four investigations on Benghazi. None of them have come out with anything. One of them dropped their uh, thing in around Thanksgiving. Nothing that could have been done. Now, there's another one coming up with, uh, what's his face? Um, Gowdy, Gowdy, who has had a picture with another congressman with an AK-47, uh, no, an AR-15 uh, in, in a other congressman's office. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, nothing has been found out. Hillary was not responsible in any way, shape, or form as the Secretary of State for security, you know, especially, I mean, think of how many security, how much security there has to be at all of these places. All, all across the world monitored from the United States. That's a tremendous uh, amount of responsibility. That does not fall on the Secretary of the State. Uh, of course, Billy wants to continue uh, indicating about the email controversy. Uh, it is a shame that she had to do that. And the voters don't care. But I'd like to point out that Colin Powell, Condi Rice, they did their own email their own way. No one's bitching and moaning about them. Uh, of course, it's just the right that wants to use every single thing as an excuse. And uh, um, the email thing has pretty much died down. Most people don't really care. Uh, the, the rules were not clearly in place. I think the rules are a little bit more clearly in place after she left. Uh, let's hope that we make them even more clear. Uh, but uh, she didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> so, but. Uh, what Billy really wants to talk about is a new book uh, by some uh, political guy. I'm not even going to bother mentioning his name. It's gotten a, a fair amount of press. It's a 186-page book. He's going to be interviewed by uh, Bright. Uh, 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 he works for Breitbart News. Uh, he's going to be uh, interviewed by Bayer uh, from Fox News one of these days, yesterday, today, tomorrow, something like that. The book comes out May 5th. 
Uh, it's going to have a lot of, uh, as Billy even refers to it, and this is how Billy gets away with this stuff. He just sort of goes, well, it has some circumstantial evidence. <laughs> yes, there's plenty of, it's all circumstantial. It takes this that, that's going on and then assumes that this is what happens. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, he also indicated that it may, you know, there may have been favors that were done. Uh, and remember, uh, Bill Clinton heads the, the Clinton Foundation. They deal worldwide with catastrophes, helping people. Uh, it's a, a, a humanitarian group. They draw money from all kinds of sources. And of course, this guy is indicating that they got organic sources. So it's one of those types of things uh, that if you take something and uh, uh, you take it and it's right here, and then you use your old, uh, what I like to call my ADHD wagon wheel of concentration, and you just sort of, you know, web this theory <laughs> that because of this, since this happened six months later, and uh, we're gonna put the two together, even though they're not even remotely close to being true. And this guy is a political hack. He used to write for uh, um, uh, 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 Bush, and uh, uh, basically, uh, it's, it's basically done to excite the base. It's going to have all these conspiracy theories. It's going to have all of these innuendos. It's going to have all of this uh, possible implications about stuff. Uh, circumstantial may or may not <laughs> prove to be true. And of course, Billy ends by going after his famous hound dog, which is David Brock. Now, David Brock used to work for the right. Uh, he was a political hit guy in the early 90s. He wrote a book when he converted to, uh, let's just say, a progressive, so to speak. It was called Blinded by the Right. Uh, so all of those things that we had heard about from the right in the early 90s that he was a part of, you know, about those landing strips in Arkansas where all kinds of pot drugs came in, uh, about, the, um, uh, about uh, Vince Foster committing suicide, <laughs> uh, about all kinds of stuff. Uh, yeah, that was all fake, that was all made up, that was all done to go after Bill and Hillary. He wrote a book called Blinded by the Light. Now he heads an organization called uh, Media Matters. I think he has another one called American Bridge. Maybe I should put my stuff on Media Matters now that I think about it. And basically all they do is take Billy to account. They, uh, they post exactly what he says, and then they talk about it. <laughs> and he can't stand that. And of course, they pointed out factual errors that they've made. And they pointed out quite a bit on the recent controversy uh, where Billy lied about uh, being, about this, well, uh, let's just say, exceptionally exaggerated to the point where one can, would have to conclude that probably it was more than an exceptional exaggeration <laughs> about stuff that Billy had done in terms of, uh, it was not Nicaragua, El Salvador, uh, Argentina, uh, there's one or two other places I don't even want to get into it. And then, of course, he ends by indicating that the voters are going to make their decision, but they're too busy playing video games and uh, 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 too busy doing um, uh, trivial types of things. And, of course, he's got his own hatchet man, Jesse Waters, who just only does trivial things. So, another day in paradise with Billy.